Okay, so you want to learn Italian fast, yeah? So you want to learn Italian fast and quickly. You want to know Italian, yeah? So you want to learn Italian fast, yeah? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Right, enough. This was my introduction and I was just trying to grab your attention. Let's begin. Right, you know what? If you want to learn Italian quickly, you must work. You must listen to Italian people talking. And the best way to learn Italian quickly is really to get across some Italian friend that can speak to you all the time in Italian. I'm pretty sure you will never understand a word at the beginning because you don't have any skills to do so. So how do you start if you don't know anything about Italian? Of course, you are listening to an Italian talking to you at the moment and you are understanding me because I'm speaking English. What happens if I start speaking Italian? Non capisci niente. You don't understand anything I'm saying. The reason is because obviously you don't have the basics to do so. And uh, what can I advise for you to understand better and faster an Italian person speaking to you? And maybe you can start then speaking to other people in Italian as well. So I would suggest to tune in on uh, Italian TV and put it on the background as I do with English as well. You know, as I said in other videos, I used to live in London and um, what really helped me a lot obviously was to get involved with other uh, people from England or other parts of the world and speak to uh, each other and all of that. And um, at the moment, what I do sometimes is to just uh, tune uh, the TV on uh, Sky News uh, or BBC News and just listen to the news in English uh, with a perfect pronunciation and a received pronunciation sometimes. Because it, it reminds me, first of all, of my time spent there and also it keeps my uh, listening skills active in a certain sense so this is the number one advice i can give you just tune in on uh, i don't know rai news which is the bbc news in italian rai is the italian uh, sort of uh, tv national tv let's call it this way i think it's uh, appropriate. You just start maybe with the subtitles and all of that. It might help you. You know, you develop this sort of uh, active listening and then you try repeating, repeat, repeating uh, what you heard on the, on TV. And uh, I'm thinking also another thing that might be useful. I used to live in Denmark as well and uh, for some time. And uh, over there, most of the movies weren't dubbed basically. So you could hear the, the English on movies and all of that. The original language, perhaps, not just English, because Italian movies like Commissario Montalbano were broadcast. Italian was there, or Spanish or French, whatever it might be. The point I'm saying here is that the children and other people as well were, you know, quite able to learn English fast because they were used to listen to English also on TV. So if they did it, why shouldn't we? And advice number two is to find someone you can speak to in Italian, you can listen to in Italian. There are plenty of videos here on YouTube as well where you can listen to someone uh, speaking in Italian. Maybe you can listen to me in my other channel where I speak about digital marketing for real estate agents. Uh, on this channel, I'm speaking English as I'm, you know, I'm trying to give you some uh, value, some thoughts, some reflections. I'm trying to give you some tools, some skills for your Italian to get better and improve. At the same time, what I'm doing is to, you know, just uh, to show uh, who I am and um, you know, I just want to talk and speak English as much as I can, really, because I don't have anywhere else to, to go to speak and do all, all of that. So just to conclude with and to uh, get it done, I would like to give you some Italian words you can start using. Buongiorno, buonasera, good morning, good evening. Buon pomeriggio, good afternoon. So buongiorno, buon pomeriggio, buonasera. Buon, it's like good. Morning is mattina, afternoon is pomeriggio, evening is sera. Buonanotte, good night. Buonanotte. So as you can hear, my pronunciation, my accent is quite strong. So buonanotte, buongiorno, 
Buon pomeriggio. I'm not doing this because I'm exasperating or, uh, you know, trying to get it stronger for you to understand. I'm doing it because in Satina we speak like this and this is possibly, you know, the, the clearest uh, version of uh, someone speaking in Italian. Uh, if you go in other regions, you might get a little different accents. And then I will tell you uh, also another thing, which is Cosa fai oggi? Cosa fai oggi? Which means what are you gonna do today? I'm gonna do some tennis, I'm gonna play and um, I'm, I will start... Uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm getting confused. <laughs> I will finish my job now uh, in uh, assisting uh, real estate agents with a few more uh, stuff on social media and all of that and uh, i hope you found it useful and enjoying uh, uh, time with me is something that you find valuable and uh, subscribe to the channel smash the like button and let me know in the comments if you have anything you would like to uh, discuss or you know going through and uh, i would happily follow your advice thank you sir i'll see you around